All right, well, a lot of fans have come out to see this man throw hands here tonight. You could argue he has some of the best boxing in this division. But fighters are a sensitive lot. It's like every time we put over his hands, he feels like we're saying out of the other side of our mouth that he's not well-rounded. That's not the case. No, we're not calling him limited at all. We're not saying this guy can't do everything. But and what pops on the page is his hands, his hand speed, his power in his hands, his ability to set up his hands through his feints and his movements. He can do so many good things in the boxing realm that you lock in on that thing. But you make no mistake about it. This guy is very well-rounded, but ultimately it will be his boxing yeah. that will allow for him to be successful. And defensively, certainly he's not going to be confused with Pernell Whitaker, but he moves his head very well, manages distance exceedingly well, and stylistically up to the all-time Our tail of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, the Korea Superboy, Do Ho Choi. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Sol Herb Dean, Ready. our referee for this one. Ready. All right, here's the Chinese fighter Song Yidong, the long-time UFC featherweight contender back on the proven ground here tonight. We have seen the knockouts start to pile up of late after a lot of decision wins. And Song Yidong believes there are going to be a lot of openings that he can exploit in this matchup here tonight. His misses are entertaining. Right on the button. More strikes to the head. That's a solid punch. That one definitely got through. Back to the jab now. No good. Let me see that. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Flip to the head there by Choi. No feeling out process whatsoever. These strikers are getting after it early. They don't like each other, and they are trying to get the opponent out of there right away. Oh, man, both of these guys can really take a shot. Kyle Tai here in the clinch. Oh, nice change up on the tempo there as the hook in the clinch lands by Yudong. Nice straight punch. Attempt now blocked though by Choi. Oh, nice combination there. He is just killing him with volume tonight. Jab, right hand, body shot. I mean, kicks. What a masterful show of different techniques and ability to throw a combination. The Dongs now cut above the eye from that strike. That bears watching as this fight continues. Now a kick to the body. Three minutes now to go in this one. Oh, that's a nice strike. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. I want you to make what a beautiful head kick land. Oh, thwack, that is a solid kick right there. Nice block. Punch went nowhere. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Gotta keep your hands up for me now. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or rest. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was 
on his first test in elementary school. Huh. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Straight punch is good. Oh! Oh, you gotta keep pressing here. Could be the beginning of the end. Oh, nice right hand. with the left. Single collar tie now. Oh, wow. How about the roundhouse kick? Now goes to the uppercut. Beautiful kick to the body. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the feet. I mean, when you don't check, you're going to continue to get blasted with kicks. His opponent has not deterred him from keeping on throwing those kicks. Yadong's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Unable to connect there. Oh, how about the accuracy to land right there? His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Good work, guys. So, 130 seconds to go in what has been a pretty entertaining and active first round. Look in the clinch there is good by Yudong. And follows up with another one. Choi going for the leg kick. He does not connect. Round two is next. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. Well, if you like blood, maybe this is the fight for you because blood has really become a factor, and it's a cut that appears to be right above his eye. That's one of the worst spots for you to get a cut because then the blood starts to come down and it goes into the eye. It's difficult already to see, but when you got one of the best mixed martial artists in the world targeting it, it becomes impossible. They call that the trigger down. That's what that is? That's right. <laughs> All right, next round is now underway. Do you see any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high level mixed martial arts. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Oh, huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. They got checked. in the engagement there. Good punch, Lance. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. And a miss with the right hook. Strike there as he continues to attack that cut. And cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only gonna continue to get worse because he has got a killer. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Three minutes now to go in round two. Outstanding kick there by Choi. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Massive, massive hook lands, and his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. Nice. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. His opponent recovered. 
Now he's got to go deal with everything that he's going to bring at him. He should have got the fight finished at that time. All right, so he's dealing with some swelling upstairs, and you got to think his opponent is going to continue to attack that region. Well, he has to. He's starting to see now the work is being done. He's starting to see the benefits of the work with the swelling that's starting to occur. They're so evenly matched, and they're going tit for tat. Yadong gets caught with that punch. Well, earlier in the round, he clearly got stung by his opponent, but he just has not responded well at all. He hasn't responded well. He hasn't got himself back going after getting hurt so bad early on. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. 90 seconds to go now. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Nice jab by Short. All right, so that opened up a oh, strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Under a minute now to go in the round. His misses are entertaining. He's got that single collar tie. Just missed with the left there. Let's go. Keep pushing forward. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV. Time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer theoretically to the end. Oh, oh he's hurt bad. Final seconds here of round two. Right. Two rounds in the books. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cut man will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, well, no surprise to see that eye continue to be targeted. Some replays from the previous round in which a lot of damage was doled out. Well, the cut man's got some work to do to try to give this kid an opportunity to stay in the fight because the reality is he has taken far too many shots to the eye and now he's dealing with a nasty cut. He has got to change something. Ready to fight? Ready. Third yeah. round underway. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. Moving forward. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. Wood Corner was able to relay that message to their fighter better in between rounds. Yadong gets tattooed by that stiff jab. Great defensive skills. He blocked that punch. Straight right. He misses. Back and forth we go. Work that cut. Work that cut. Man, does he take a lot of these kicks to produce redness? Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Choi. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Man, his jab is good. There it is. Yadong's cut on his nose is just pouring blood at this point. Able to block that one. Shows him the left and then follows it up with a right. Nice one-two punch there by Yudong. Man, 
man, look at the redness starting to appear on the left side of his body. His opponent would be wise to continue to attack there. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Fighters separate from the clinch. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. Yadong's really pleading now. That cut is only getting worse. Oh, a huge block there. Circling towards the left now. Oh, strong hook to the head there. Oh, huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Oh, huge left. Oh, my goodness. About two minutes here to go in round three. Lands a kick there with the lead leg. Nice work by the Korean Super Bowl. Well, you got to think he's happy with this performance here tonight. Essentially, just the way he drew it up, it's been a striking play. It's like a fairy tale. He's doing everything he wanted to do in his opponent. is isn't doing much to try and deter him and really mess with the game plan. Well, you can feel that breeze octagon side after the swing of his move. As his opponent postures up, he opens it. Swelling now around that jaw area. We'll see if he can make some adjustments and perhaps defensively raise that guard to prevent any further damage. Joy gets caught by the straight punch. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Both guys appeared to land there. Just unable to quite find that range. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Yadong's nose is unrecognizable. It is mangled. It is cut open. I think it's probably broken at this point in time. Surgery next week. But now we'll see if mentally, physically, he can stay in this fight. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. All right, so that's the end of the round. That cut on the nose, manageable earlier, not so much right now. Really, really bad. The blood flow continuing to become a factor, and you gotta think at some point, if it gets any worse, they will have no choice but to stop this fight. All right, and being told, we've got some replays from the previous round, and it appears as though the cut on the bridge of the nose is getting worse by the minute. It's getting worse by the minute, and he's got an opponent in front of him that wants to target it. He wants to hit him on the nose over and over again. I wonder Ready. if every time he gets hit there, the blood goes down into the mouth, making it difficult to breathe. Huge block there. Nice jab by Short. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Oh, picture-perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Oh, nice combination of kicks there by Yudong. Well, this is getting hard to watch, and sometimes you hear us say a fighter is too tough for their own good. Anybody want to save this athlete right now? Yeah, this is, this is a classic case of that, where a guy is just too tough. He's not going to win this fight. He may as well... Oh, my God, he's hurt. He's hurt. Oh! We might get a stop 
pitch here. Back to his feet. Shots raining down. And Yadon gets pounded here with these elbows to the head. Big ground and pound. Right down. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Lands with the ground and pound. the half guard. Oh, another strike hits right on that cut. Ringside position might have to intervene soon. He's got to start throwing now. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Block that one. Just out of range with that right hand. Put your hands up higher. Got the single collar tie. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do, eventually it will show itself. Right now it's starting to show. Oh! Back to his feet. Well, at this point, DC, I'm not sure if he's... He landed it perfectly. Perfect placement. Perfect position. And it's a big moment in this fight. Yadong's forehead. Oh, heavy shots raining down. He's got to be careful here. Joy gets back up here. Well, missed on that one. Ninety seconds to go in the round. One takedown is easy to defend. When you start stringing them together, is when guys struggle. Yadong gets up and decides to take this fight back to its feet, despite having a seemingly dominant position on the ground. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh, beating his leg up. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you got the Anderson Silva situation. Yadong's an absolute mess right now. There's blood everywhere. I'm not so sure they're not going to stop this fight right now. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, now going to the body with that hook. Nicely done there. Oh, my God! Do it! Do it! Oh, that has got to feel good! Holy smokes! Here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 33 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Superboy, Du Ho Choi. So the Korean Superboy, Du Ho Choi, with another highlight for the reel here tonight.